So I'm going to let you know right now, when you practice semen retention, you are actually putting yourself in a position to break any addiction you ever had in your life. You master semen retention, anything that you that you, that 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 you think that you couldn't do before, you'll be able to do. You're going to have the ultimate willpower, bro. Stop playing with yourself, man. What it do? It's your boy Moody Star. I damn sure ain't uh, put my uh, did, did my intro in the last video because I was just in the zone type shit. So, you know, I got to do my intro right now before I fucking forget. But what it do? It's your boy Moody Star and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber. Like the video and join MGT. And also drop a dollar on that cash app if you want to support the team. You feel me? We are growing. I'm, I'm Merch, all that shit is coming, okay? But this is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful matrix. So first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going with them, being high vibrational. Here at MGT, that's what we do, dog. We work on ourselves every single day. It don't even matter what's happening on the outside or, or whatever, nigga. We are working on ourselves every single day. Now, when you are talking about retaining your energy, <clears throat> you are actually powering up to have more willpower to do whatever you want, bro. And it's not even going to be on some whatever you want on some law of vibrational shit where you just manipulating people or, you know, you got this newfound power. So now you're going to go ahead and try to abuse it. Like, nah, you are actually thinking with more wisdom, more knowledge, more understanding. And with that being said, that literally is giving you the confidence to break any addiction that you ever have, bro. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm glitching right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, for real, though, you will literally have the ultimate confidence to be like, you know what? I think I could put down this cigarette or I think I could put down a drink. Oh, I think I could uh, really obviously not watch no more porn. You feel me? And see, here's the thing about it, dog. First of all, we got to be honest with ourselves. You feel me? We have to understand like, okay, what is our what is our issue? What is our problem? And I feel like when you retain your energy, you have more, you, have, you, you, you hear more from your spirit, more from your soul. That's just not tainted. So you're not constantly doing rent, uh, low vibrational shit with other people or just, you know what I'm saying, by yourself. The less you do all that extra shit, bro, the more you start to see what reality truly is, especially for you. Because a, a reality for somebody else may not be your reality. So you have to understand, like, okay, if you really want to level up in life, there's a lot of things that we know that we do as vices that we have to sacrifice. We're going to have to cut that. We're going to have to shed it eventually. And, bro, I'm telling you, dog, since I started my journey, I knew for a fact I wanted to quit smoking weed. I knew I wanted to... um there was other things I wanted to do, just random stuff, you feel me? Or even like <clears throat> periodically drinking type shit. The, the science behind drinking, that shit's deep, you feel me? They don't want to teach you about this shit, but whether y'all know it or not, these substances that, that we use, whether it's cigarettes, marijuana, whether it's alcohol, all this shit got spirits in it, bro. You feel me? And I told you, even if you're not... Um, you don't actively have to be thinking about like, oh shit, I want to summon a spirit. Like, nah, nigga, like these, 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 when you look at these substances or even when you, same shit with food too, nigga, like, or meats, nigga, they got spirits, my nigga, like, it's just crazy. So what happens is we are attaching ourselves to, to these things spiritually, you feel me? And now it's like, oh, we need to have it, you feel me? Oh, I got to have my, uh this at this point in time or i gotta do this or do that but what you don't what you fail to understand is that when you are retaining your energy you are actually upgrading your dna your dna is not going to be the same no more it's going to come to a point where the longer you hold on to your life force energy and the longer you are retaining your, your retaining your seed and meditating and drinking a whole lot of water you are trans, trans like you are literally changing yourself you are literally changing the face of your dna your DNA is going to get bougie, in other words. Like, all this shit, you're going to see, like, oh, this is this has been some bullshit. Retaining has helped me quit smoking weed. And I'm not trying to demonize a lot of these things, but I'm telling you, a lot of these, a lot of these things that we use, bro, it's not in our best interest. You got to think, shit, me, I don't mind. Like, if I, if I can see who is growing the plant, if I could see the, the soil, if I could see the cultivation, that's totally different because at least you see what type of spirit, what type of energy is going into it. 
all of these these new strands of weed um and again like i know a lot of niggas they, they be hating me for this shit dog because it's like you know what i'm saying like what you mean weed is good da, da, da. it helps with create uh my creativity and, and 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 it helps me uh deal with people's bullshit because people get on my nerves and i want to slap the fuck out of people sometimes so i need to smoke my weed nigga what the fuck i need to chill yo i get that nigga i was smoking for like almost 10 years bro but i knew at some point in my life, if I wanted to level up, if I wanted to make it to another realm of reality where I'm smoking better weed, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be, I'm living better. I have to I have to sacrifice that shit, bro. The shit never made sense to me uh, of, of paying a plug, you know, every week just to wonder if this is going to be some shit that I'm going to that I can meditate and now, now, now I'm going to be spiritually inclined or whatever the case may be. And it's like, I'm literally, and this is my example. I'm literally, um, uh, wondering like, okay, am I going to hit this on this one? Damn. Cause anybody, a motherfucker can tell you like, yo, this is the best shit in the world. Motherfucker going to tell you that a motherfucker got, got to sell some shit. You feel me? They got to get this shit off. So of course they're going to tell you the best thing possible. You know what I'm saying? And this is, that's just in that aspect, but I know I got fed up. I got tired. I've been was supposed to stop. You feel me? Only because I knew I had I needed to level up. I needed to let these things go. And I understood like, okay, what is the two main what's the two main things in my life that I know that I do a lot or I look forward to? Nigga, it was sex, um, or even watching porn and smoking my weed. Like those those was the main three things that I did as recreation. And <clears throat> not only was it was recreation, but I had an addiction for real, for real. I told y'all in my earlier videos, if you would have met me two, like three years ago, nigga, like, and if you was to tell me, hey, three years later, you're going to be talking about seed retention and not releasing your seed. I would have looked at you like you was fucking crazy. Like, are you crazy, nigga? Like, nah, nigga. If you love pussy as much as I do, nah. I would be like, no, wait, that shit don't make no sense. What you mean I can't bust a nut? Nigga, that's the best feeling in the world, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? So I had to, but I had to realize, like, even as I was doing that, even as, even though I was like releasing, oh, I'm fucking this bitch, fucking that bitch, my energy wasn't even reciprocated. I just kept on, I was getting drained. So I do a sexual act, get drained, and then I gotta smoke it off. Yeah, I fuck her for an hour that I smoke it off. Come on, that's the Lil Wayne. You feel me? Shout out to uh Lil Wayne and um that song called Single. You feel me? Because I'm still single. But now I'm on a different level with it being single. I fuck a bitch for an hour and, and, and recharge myself at this point in time. You feel me? Because I have more life force energy. But it's not about, <clears throat> it's not even about having those random activities. You feel me? You do what you do on your own time, you feel me? But what I'm basically saying is the the most powerful thing that humans can do right now outside of starting war and shit is having sex, reproducing. So why don't we try to master and regulate how often we release our seed or how often we are getting some sweet, watery guts? You know, if you regulate this shit, you, yourself, as far as your spirit, your soul, regulate it you know you will literally start to advance in life you'll have better you you'll have way more better um experiences then that's just number one that's just regulating fun now when you do that now you have the mindset now you have the willpower to look at other areas of your life you're gonna be like damn if i could regulate this and this is sex <laughs> and if i could regulate mastering how I react when I see a fine ass bitch, because I'm telling you, these women are be getting they're 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 becoming a lot more attractive. It's a female every single day that turns 21, fresh meat. Every single day. And they come about a 12, 13, they come about a thousands, nigga. Untouched. Virgins. You think every female. It's for the streets. You think every female is out there starting early? Now, I say about 60 to 70 percent. Yeah. But boom. OK. So 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 number one, like I said, 
you retain your energy, it's, it's going to build willpower and you're going to have an abundance mindset because you, you're going to see that everything happens in cycles. If everything happens in cycles and patterns, then this shit means it's going to happen again, right? So instead of me being primitive and going to the shiny thing when it when, when it first comes into my existence, oh, nah, I'm like, okay, that's that shiny thing. Not knowing like there's a whole star that's going to come and just post behind you and post around you. When you get tapped into the spiritual realm, you see all this shit is already here already. So now it brings willpower. It brings confidence. And now, <clears throat> like I said, this shit has literally helped me. Like, I don't smoke. I don't drink. And it's not that I'm better than anybody else. It's because I know my DNA is actually upgrading. I did a test. I was like, you know what? I'm with my dog. I was with my dog the other day. You know, we chilling or whatever. Long story short. He passes me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm good. But I, I wanted to test myself. I wanted to see, like, how my body would react. So I hit that bit, right? Damn, boy, it's been a minute, boy. I missed this shit, man. Da -da -da, I missed this shit. And mind you, minutes after, minutes after this shit, my body was like, uh, what the fuck is this? My DNA was like, uh, oh, yeah, oh, we remember this shit. Yeah, get this nigga the fuck out of here. Minutes later, bro, I threw the fuck up. And mind you, this is the same type of shit that I was toting for about five, eight to ten years, cuz I ain't never had a moment where I hit some shit and I felt like I wanted to puke. Guess what, bro? I've been taking care of my body. This shit's over with. It's over with. I done upgraded. I can't do what I did before. And a lot of it, like I said, it, it has to do with with the type of energy that you are recycling through your body and how you're, you know what I'm saying, taking care of yourself. And now I'm telling you, dog, it's going to get to a point where you are going to level up so high that the shit that you was doing before is going to be primitive as fuck. It's going to happen. I'm not telling people to say, okay, quit smoking. And then, and then, and then like a month later, try to <clears throat> try to see where you at or quit drinking and try to see where you at because some people is different. Some people may relapse and go right back into a spiral. But I'm just letting y'all know. I know for me, I tested myself and I know I'm good. I know I'm good. You feel me? I, my body doesn't accept it anymore. And it's so crazy. <clears throat> it's like we're a slave to our bodies, but what you not, which what we don't understand is when you become conscious with your body, become conscious with the spirit, and become conscious with yourself, essentially, your body will actually do what's best for you. Because it's all about preservation and trying to keep you operating at a high level at all costs, at, at like any time. So when you decide to step away from your addiction and you actually put put down whatever it is, there's there's a high chance that you may not even go back to it, bro, because you are evolving. You have that life force energy. You are retaining your energy. When you have sex and when you release, <clears throat> there's almost like a fuck it mindset that comes behind that. You done busting up. Oh, damn, man, I'm about to smoke. Damn, man, I'm about to go. I'm about to just do this other shit now, man. Because, you know, say I done did this, I done did that. It's like, it's a fuck it attitude. Like, you don't care about life low key. Like, after you bust a nut, it's just like, man, I feel, I feel crazy. I need to do something else. And that's how addictions low key start. That's how it start. Or that's how you can feed your addiction. You get what I'm saying? So it's all about regulating how we go about managing our life force energy. I'm not saying don't ever have sex again. But you have to understand, like, if you're going to be doing it, you have to regulate it. You got to make sure even when you do it, even if you do release, you're not relapsing back into old habits where it's like, oh, now I got to get my mind right. No, while you were in the pussy low key, you were supposed to be getting your mind right. When you get out the pussy, you actually supposed to have more energy, whether you know it or not. But like I said, that's a that's a different video for a different day, man. I'm going to end it here for today. It's been your boy Moody Star. Like I said, man, you can kick any addiction. When you practice semen retention, you're going to have more willpower to want to get shit done. You're going to change things in your life, and it's going to happen. I promise you. Guaranteed, because you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the confidence. You're going to feel the energy. And with that, you're putting yourself in a new vibration, a higher vibration, where the universe is going to offer you things that you now you feel like you deserve 
a better car, a better living situation, uh, a, be a better spouse to, to, to link with. And then even when it comes to the marijuana or, or those type of psychedelic drugs, it won't just be an everyday thing. Because, you know, like, literally, niggas is, I, bro, I was smoking it every single day. Every day, but I realized that I was moving at a certain pace. Like, yeah, I got, like I said, I got the the creative ideas, but I wasn't moving on a time where I want to really get things and I really want to manifest things. You know, when you, when you are practicing this shit, you manifest it a whole lot more faster. So just imagine, even if it was like on some, some shit where it's like, okay, once a year, I'm going to, Okay, my boys, da da da, they can't get out their habits or whatever, but I want to make it feel like, like you, you'll have more than enough energy and confidence to actually control yourself, and you wouldn't even have to be smoking every single day. It could be once a month, my nigga. You feel me? If you feel like you need it, or if you really feel like, okay, if you're gonna use it, please, please have that psychedelic trip, and come back with something that's going that's going to involve you. You feel me? Come back with something where it's like, I don't need to do this action. I did this action. I learned from how I was feeling. I'm back in my my my, my right mind. And now it's, it's time to play ball. And then, it's, like I said, the same thing with, with alcohol. Alcohol is a little different because alcohol directly attacks your lower three chakras. Your lower three chakras, it's, shit, same thing with marijuana sometimes. But with alcohol, I can't drink alcohol. I'm going to let you know right now. If I'm going to drink some alcohol, I got to get some pussy after. If I don't got pussy lined up, you got to be fucked up. I'm not drinking shit. That's a setup for me, nigga. Alcohol, wine, all that shit. I'd I rather not drink that shit at all. Because it's a setup for me. I'm going to be pissed off, nigga. What the fuck? The only time I was drinking wine was when I was chilling with uh my uh, the chick that I was, you know what I'm saying, being involved with. I'm not going to drink unless I know I got something lined up. And it's not going to be no damn hard liquor either. You feel me? And I don't know. Like, maybe I shouldn't have said that, but it's that's just for me. So you got to, you you just have to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And know, like, okay, if you put yourself in this situation, you might be setting yourself up. You think that you can handle it, but nah, like, we probably can't. Until, until we get to a point where we're spiritually mature, we get to a point where it's like, okay, we can do this. I can do this. I didn't, I didn't put time and work into kicking all my addictions or kicking most of my my vices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You can have, you can live, you can have fun. Just got to be regulated fun. But other than that, like I said, it's been your boy Moody Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below if this information was valuable to you. Drop a dollar on the cash app. Support the team. We are growing. I'm about to drop some merch pretty soon. And like I said, bro. You practice semen retention, you could you could literally kick any addiction. Peace.